Hey, it's Trish and this is Fold of the Week, a show where I share powerful print marketing ideas to help you achieve success on any budget. This week is the second half of my two-part exploration into creative variations of the triple parallel fold. So if you missed last week, make sure you go back and watch part one. Today I've got two 12-page parallel folds to share and they both feel very different. So let's take a closer look. This first example is a self-mailer for the Thomas Jefferson Foundation that starts out like a trifold that opens in the reverse and folds out to the left, but then you realize there's another layer to open and the entire brochure opens up one more time to a huge six panel interior spread in a long rectangular orientation. There's just a tremendous amount of space to work with on this format and it's kind of a cool choice for a 12 page product catalog. Here's parallel fold one, two, and three. Now let's look at the same format in a different way. This brochure for Palmer Museum of Art at Penn State opens first to a two-page spread, then opens again and again, revealing the six-panel interior spread, but stepping through it in trifold fashion rather than revealing it all at once. By the way, you can call this a trifold in half. Here's parallel fold one, two, and three. So if I wanted to take this 12-page parallel brochure and fold it more like the previous one I shared, I would fold it in half and then tri-fold it down. I prefer the fold-in opening out to the right instead of the left, so I'll demonstrate it that way. It's amazing just how different these two versions of the 12-page parallel can feel, and last week's 10-page triple parallels were also very different from each other. As to which one you should choose for your project, that's up to you, but I'd recommend making a series of little blank paper mock-ups so that you can play with user experience and think hard about the order of information and how you want the content to be revealed. And now that we've been through this two-part exploration, I hope you feel great knowing that you have lots of options on a really economical 10 or 12 page format that can be machine folded. A very special thanks to the creators of the samples featured in this episode for sharing their solutions with us. If you've ever been inspired by something you've seen on the show, please consider folding it forward and sharing your work too. If you're looking for more ideas, downloads, and templates, visit foldfactory.com. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.